Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of this fragrance right here, Missoni Wave. This is the flanker to Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. Missoni Parfum Pour Homme, which just rolls right off the tongue. Parfum Pour Homme. That one smells like Bleu de Chanel. This one also <laughs> kind of smells like a Chanel. In this video, I'll break down this fragrance, let you know what I think about it, let you know how it smells, show you the presentation, all that good stuff. So let's jump into it and let's tackle Missoni Wave. Now, one thing that has absolutely nothing to do with anything, but I love to say Missoni like this. Missoni. I don't know why, just something about the name. Missoni. Villain Hone. Missoni. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. But I can't, I can't help it for some reason. It's just that name. Missoni. So with that hard hitting piece of information out of the way, let's uh, check out the presentation. Here's a good look at the box. I really like it. I love the look of this, love the design. I like how the, the color kind of gets darker toward the ends. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration right there on the front. Missoni up at the top, nothing on the back, nothing on the sides either. On the bottom, you have a bunch of information. You've got your ingredients, your badge code, your barcode. Badge code here is 0232G. And here's a look at the bottle. Same bottle design as Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. This one has a really nice blue gradient, really oceanic kind of uh, vibe coming off of the bottle here. Again, name of the house, name of the fragrance. You've got the name of the house on top of the cap and the cap is magnetic and it's actually really strong. You can pick this up by the magnet pretty easily if you wanted to. Nothing on the back. On the bottom, you've got your sticker with your batch code. And I'll go ahead and bust out a couple sprays for you guys here. Nice atomizer on this one. So Missoni Wave, I got in a number of months ago, did a first impression. I thought it was okay. Didn't really blow me away or anything. I, I just kind of pretty quickly ran right through it during that video, if memory serves correctly. But I've given it some more wear since then, and I decided it's worth a review. So this one nowadays you can find pretty easily at discounters. You can pick this up at Fragrance Net as of this video for a 50 ml size bottle, not a tester just under $40. I think it's like 39 something, 39 and change. So it's not really super cheap, but it's also not expensive. It's kind of a mid range price right now. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this one does have a similarity to a Chanel. So <laughs> Missoni here twice in a row seems to be copying pages from uh, Chanel's playbook. The fragrance that it's a bit similar to is this one, Chanel Allure Homme Sport, which also means that it's similar to Versace Pour Homme, because Versace Pour Homme is also similar to Chanel Allure Homme Sport. So these three fragrances to an extent are like the three summertime amigos. It's hot outside, you want compliments, you want to smell nice, one of these. But where does Missoni Wave differ from those two fragrances and how does it smell? overall. So Missoni Wave, when you first spray it on, has this really, really nice opening, kind of a sea salty vibe, very aquatic, and you've got some fresh, juicy citrus that pops out, especially a mandarin that has very slight green tinge to it, green citrus, just ever so slightly. And it's got this bit of uh, creaminess to the citrus as well. So it's got a bunch of different things going on, but all done very well, super pleasing, really appealing doesn't come across too synthetically uh, sweet or anything like that, so that's great. You know, you don't want something that's just gonna bash you over the head with this chemical sweetness in the middle of summer when it's really hot outside. Thankfully, none of that here. As it dries down, the fragrance takes on a little bit of a woody undertone, so it's this fresh aquatic woody feel as it dries. Citrus fades away gradually. It does take on, like I said, a slight creamy feel, but it never really approaches the level of something like Allure Home Sport. I would say it's definitely on the more aquatic and the fresher side as compared to Allure Home Sport, because Allure Home Sport uh, it does have, at least for me, a bit more sweetness to it than Missoni Wave does. You get a little lavender here, a little clary sage, but not too much. Ultimately, this is all about that opening a fantastic sea salty aquatic opening, very fresh and lively with just, just the right touch of sweetness. And then as it dries down, 
that woodsy base that comes out. And I know that the base has oak moss and vetiver and patchouli, so you would think maybe you're gonna pick out one of those notes. It's really gonna stand out from the crowd, but that doesn't really end up happening once it dries down. They all kind of just meld together. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's a really pleasant, fresh, woody, masculine dry down with the remnants of the top and the mid kind of sitting over top of that. So this one for me, it kind of falls in between these two fragrances in some way. So Masoni Wave, you get more of that aquatic feel, whereas Versace Pour Homme, you get more of those white florals coming through. Between the two, I'd say Versace Pour Homme comes across a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit cleaner, and has that focus on white florals, which you won't find in uh, Masoni Wave. And then Allure Homme Sport has more density to it. It has more sweetness, more creaminess to it as compared to Masoni Wave. So Masoni Wave is going just very fresh, 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 fresh. And while Allure Homme Sport is fresh, it is not as much as Masoni Wave. And Masoni Wave does have that, that little, little tiny touch of creaminess to it in the opening. It's just not on par with Allure Homme Sport but Versace Pour Homme doesn't really have that at all, which is why I say Masoni Wave kind of falls in between the two. Now, I do think that if you own Versace Pour Homme and Allure Homme Sport or either one of them, Masoni Wave eh, could be really redundant for you. Now, if you love that style of fragrance, you like what these two scents do, and you want another take very much in that style, then check Masoni Wave out. But if you're worried that it's going to be redundant and you already own one or both of Versace Pour Homme or Allure Homme Sport, yes, yes, it's redundant. That doesn't mean the fragrance is bad because it's not. It actually smells really good, especially in high heat situations or casual situations or the office, you know, any of those, it's safe. It's a really people pleasing scent. It smells great. So don't take me saying that it's redundant as me saying it smells bad because it doesn't. And especially as the price drops on this, it will be awesome for so many people during the summer. I'm telling you, drops to $30, $35. It is a great buy at that point because this presentation is slick. A lot of people are gonna like this more than Versace Pour Homme or the Chanel in terms of presentation because you get that nice gradient. The glass is really heavy, fits in the hand well. It's got a great atomizer and magnetic cap. So for a lot of people, this would be the choice, I feel like. Now for me personally, which one would I rather own if I could only own one? That's a really hard question. <laughs> I'd rather just own all of them. So I don't know that I can realistically answer that for you guys in this video because uh, it's kind of six half dozen for me. I think as of right now, I'd probably choose to wear this over the other two, but that's only for one reason, which is I have owned Versace Pour Homme and Allure Homme Sport for a long time, a long time, and I've worn them a whole mess of times. So it's kind of like, well, why not wear this? It's newer, you know, I've not worn it as much. So that's why. If you are looking though for an aquatic fragrance that has good performance, which I'll talk about in just a moment, and hyper versatility that people love, that is a compliment puller, then check out Masoni Wave, I can say that much. It's surprisingly good even though it's not original at all. <laughs> now, in terms of performance, this is an aquatic. You would think maybe it doesn't have too much punch to it, but it actually surprisingly performs very well. In terms of longevity, we're talking seven plus hours off my skin. In terms of projection, pretty good. First hour, hour and a half, you can pick it up really well, especially as you move around. After that, it does sit closer to the skin. And this is one of those fragrances that for me anyway, it'll be projecting, you know, be pumping out there, pumping, pumping, pumping. And then suddenly it's just chilled out. And you think, where'd it go? You still there? It's still there. But it's just, it's in closer. I already touched on this, but as far as daytime or nighttime use, it leans more daytime use, season, spring, summer, maybe early fall. It is office safe. It's a great casual scent and a great kind of just dumb reach fragrance. One of those you just grab, spray and go. Doesn't matter where you're going, people are gonna like it. So there we go. My take on Missoni Wave, surprisingly, really nice. I wrote it off pretty quickly when I first tried it out, went back to it again and again, and then uh, kind of just came around on it. You can deduct it points for 
being a fragrance that's obviously inspired by two other really big fragrances out there, but they pull it off. It'd be different if they were taking a page from Chanel and Versace's handbook and they screwed the pooch, you know, just messed the whole thing up, but they didn't. So I can't smell it and think it smells great and then come out here and be like, well, it smells great and people love the way it smells and it's really versatile, but I'm really mad that, that they copied a little bit. That makes me angry. So Sony Wave for me. Thumbs up, good stuff. All right guys, if you smelled this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below and let me know how you think it stacks up to Versace Pour Homme and Allure Homme Sport. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.